And Danny, hi, nice to see you again. Um, what's the team news for Leicester? Is uh, Tyler Adams fit? Any other injury news after Monday? No, I think uh, uh, Tyler will not be fit for the Leicester game, but uh, he's almost there. I think uh, he's going to train fully with the team in the, in the international break. He will not be involved in, in the game tomorrow, but uh, apart from Tyler, everyone is available. And uh, uh, yeah, I think we are now in a good place, that is. We didn't see you on Monday, you had to watch from the stands. How good was it? It was different, it was uh, probably... I stayed more calm, uh, but definitely, uh, probably they don't need me, no? Not so much, <laughs> uh, because I've been there, I think, twice here in, in, in England, and we, we won both both games, no? But it's true that uh, you feel like you don't... <laughs> You cannot affect the game so much, but uh, luckily for, for, for us, we are well. So are you going to return to the touchline, a less animated, karma manager? Yeah, I will try, definitely. I will try. I will try to keep my hands uh, I don't know, in my pocket or somewhere. And uh, I will try not to give them any chance no, to, to be on the stands again, because uh, I didn't like it. I really didn't like it. The team were pretty good without you. They were superb, yeah. weren't they, in the first half? Yeah, I think we... We played a really good first half with a very high ride and we were uh, very, very dangerous whenever we recovered the ball. Um, probably we didn't play with this high energy in the second half. Uh, it's, it's difficult when you are 3-0 up, you want to keep your, your, your structure, you don't want the, 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 the game to go too crazy and it was quite more slower ride in the second half. But I think it was a, a good game from, from our side, yes. And Semenyo was sensational again, man of the match. How good is he right now? He must be one of the best players in the league. Antoine is doing well. He's doing well. He's scoring goals. He's been a threat. But uh, he has to continue. Uh, he has to show that uh, this form can be more consistent. Uh, he can add not only goals. I think we have to focus in, in many more things. No? In, Putting good crosses from the outside, in doing good stuff against the fullbacks, uh, depending of how they structure as a team. Sometimes he has to follow uh, Lauer. I remember the, the, uh, against uh, Bukurela here with Chelsea. He did a very good defensive work, and he has to be a more complete player. I think he is someone who is willing to work to be a better player and. Normally, these kind of, of players after they get their, their awards. Yes. How has uh, Evan Ilson been after his first Premier League goal? What's that going to do for his confidence? I think he has been like a, a relief you know, after the goal because uh, I think he is very aware no, uh, that uh, he is very important for us. From, for us, yes, and uh, he was playing well, but uh, especially after the penalty that he he missed, I think he felt like. I don't want to like let down no my teammates and and you could feel it when he scores not his reaction but the reaction of the teammates and everyone around no that everyone because they are seeing how how well he's training and how much he wanted to to score the goal and I think is positive things yes. Is it the first goal of many? Can he fill the 19 goals that you lost with Solanke? Uh, I will not uh, evaluate him because of this. I want him to be the player he is. Uh, maybe he scores a goal and he doesn't play well, he's not good enough for us. I will not uh, evaluate only the goals he scores. I think he has to make us play well. I think he's understanding, he's getting better without the ball. I think he's helping in the press. The other day it was demanding because Southampton uh, spends a lot of time on the ball. You have to be very consistent on your press. And I think Eva played, I think, 60 something, 80, 70 minutes. Uh, with a uh, good energy, and I think I will be more focusing in these things than the amount of course is cost. Um, it's less to less uh, next yeah. a team like Southampton who haven't won yet this season. Is this a great chance for back-to-back -back wins? I think it's going to be difficult, more difficult, because they will play away. It's very difficult to win away games in the Premier League, uh, and they've been in all the games. They've tied three, and the three that they haven't uh, tied, let's say they've lost. They've been at there until the end, fighting for the game, and also their pitch. I think only Villa has won there. So I think we have to be better if we want to win there. We have to be very good. I think 
Uh, it's very difficult for every team to win games, for us, for Leicester, for Southampton, for every uh, Premier League team. But I think they are doing very good things and I think it's going to be difficult. Um, even so, um, Arsenal, I think, had 35 efforts on goal last yes. week. Before that, Everton had 17. Can you capitalise on that? I think it's a, it's a game where you cannot take a lot of conclusions when you play against Arsenal because they put so much pressure on you. Sometimes you cannot decide what kind of game you are going to play, no? because right now they are playing very well, they are very physical, uh, but it's true that uh, to play against them away and be 2-2 in the 93rd minute, you have to do a lot of things very well, you have to do, defend very well, you have to uh, have um, even mental strength, no? because for sure Arsenal is going to push you during a lot of time, during a lot of phases of the game, and I think they shown they shown this, and I expect a difficult game, and I think we will have to be very good if we want to win this. Facundo Buonanotte was really yes. crucial to him in that fight back. How impressive is he as a 19-year-old? I think we know him very well, no? from past season. Uh, he started, I think, both games against us, if I remember well, yeah. with Brighton. Uh, and he has quality, he has quality, he has a very good uh, uh, left foot, he can play outside, inside, uh, but it's what we face in the Premier League every weekend, no? the different challenges, different, different type of wingers, uh, but we have to be ready, uh, we have a lot of options at uh, front, uh, we have the, also the experience from past season, when we faced a lot of these players and they, they, they beat us in the cup, so I hope we are more ready, yes. On Monday, you played against a team with no striker for the first half. Now you're up against a more traditional striker in in Vardy. Um, he's going to be 38 in in January. Some players retire at 34, and yeah. you know after <laughs> strolling around at the base of midfield for a year. <clears throat> How impressive is it that he's still going at this level? I think he. I don't know him personally, but uh, you can feel from the outside that he loves the game. He loves to compete, and he. He enjoys the, the game, even when he's uh, fighting the other day against the Saliba, against Gabriel, that is difficult, he doesn't give up, he goes every time. He, for his age, he still is, is a fast forward, he attacks the spaces very well, you know, he's uncomfortable for the centre-backs, he will be all the time, uh, you think he's offside, not offside, and then he will use his body well, he will... Uh, his timing is, is, is very good, uh, the goal he scored against Palace is, is very bardy, you know, and you have to be ready for these challenges, and I hope our, our centre-backs are ready because we know that it's not going to be comfortable for them. A couple of your players, Dango scored on Monday, does he deserve a bit of luck because he's had <laughs> so many goals ruled out, that one he didn't really know anything about? Yeah, I think... Uh, He's been unlucky you now with the two disallowed goals in the first two games, where I think he played uh, really well. Uh, he has recovered really fast because he was injured with the national team and straight away no? uh, has, has come again in a, in a, in a good form. And uh, I'm happy in this, in, in, about this goal. He was lucky at the end, but uh, I told him no? he scores the goal because he attacks very well the first post. He makes the run all the way when when Anti's on the ball, he's the first one to arrive there to the first post. And after, it's true that he's lucky, but if he doesn't, doesn't do the first run there and, 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 and goes with, with Ant, he would have no, no, no chance. So I think he's, he's the self, and I hope he can continue. No? We are adding goals, I think, with almost all the wingers that are playing, and I think it's good for the team. And Marcus Tavernier playing as a 10, is that his future in the middle? No, I don't think it's going to be his future. I think he's going to be a right winger, a number 10, a left winger. He can play as a left back sometimes, maybe as a number 8. I think he can do a lot of things. And I, I will not limit him to, no, you are going to be now inside, outside. No, I think he has the, the offensive quality and the defensive work rate to play in a different positions, so it's very good for him because he will have more chances to have minutes than players that are more, more specific. And just one more player, Milos, seems to my eyes to have really worked hard on his defensive game, is that fair? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really happy with Milos, I think he looks more mature, he's training better, he's uh, 
uh, even after trainings, he's trying to improve the details that will make him even a better player. Uh, and uh, I think he's finishing, he's someone who is, spends a lot of energy, he, his physical numbers are very high, but he's finishing like better the games. Uh, we are not having to change him because past season sometimes after 65, 70 minutes, sometimes someone who goes, does everything super fast, so sometimes he runs out of gas. And now I think he's learning and, and, and interpreting better the game. And I, I hope he can continue you know, with his performances. I think also that he can add uh, some, some numbers to his game because he's arriving a lot. And uh, we are working in the last third where he can take maybe uh, better decisions. And I hope he can. Can have these things also, yes. Mm -hmm.